I hope that this work will help change the narrative on climate change. There's always been this widespread notion that moving to a renewable energy system is going to be incredibly challenging and difficult and expensive. In the past, clean energy technologies like solar, wind and electric vehicles were really expensive. We noticed that for the last two decades, all the big energy and economic models have been overestimating consistently the costs of several clean energy technologies. So this also leads to the question, what are they going to cost in future? And that was the main point that our work aimed to address. Our work was published in the academic journal Jewel and has since been covered widely in a range of media outlets on TV and in newspapers. Different technologies progress at very different rates. For example, fossil fuels have barely improved in cost for the last hundred years. Others, like computers and electronics, improve very rapidly. Solar, wind and electric vehicles are in this group of technologies. For these technologies, future costs depend on how rapidly they are scaled up. This dynamic is known as the learning curve. Our team found that using this method is the most reliable way to forecast future technology costs. The faster we roll out solar, wind and electric vehicles, the faster we can expect their costs to come down. This is because investment leads to more innovation, which leads to improvements in manufacturing and throughout the whole value chain, and it leads to lower costs for us all. So then we made forecasts for the costs of many different energy technologies, and we plugged these into an energy model, representing the entire global energy system. With this new approach, using the most up-to-date data, we found that rather than being an economic burden, the green energy transition is likely to save us money around $12 trillion, in fact. Publishing in a journal has allowed us to reach a huge audience, and we've had interest in our methods and our forecasts from all kinds of organizations. I hope that this work will help encourage a reassessment of the energy models we've been using in the past, and ideally help change the narrative on climate change to one where the faster we transition, the better off we'll all be.